Hi. Thank you for being the part of my initiation. That is my website, chemmasters.online. And uh, once again, thank you for the huge response. Right. So, as in the part of our inorganic lectures, uh, important inorganic lectures, now we are discussing on the stability of alkyl metal complexes. So, here, that means we are discussing majorly on transition metal complexes. So, that is also applicable for alkyl metal complexes. So, here, the stability of uh, alkyl metal complexes depends on many factors in that the majorly kinetic and thermodynamic uh, factors are influencing the stability of alkyl metal complexes. Okay, so here, observe that the stability of uh, transition metal with uh, organic ligands are less stable when we compare with the uh, main group metals with the uh, alkyl uh, ligands. Okay. So, here this is the point. So, if we have an, uh, a problem on it, that means if I have a question in the examination that if he, if he gives aluminum complex with and uh, a transition metal complex. So, which is the stable between these two? So, we can we can directly give aluminum complex is more stable when you compare with the transition metal complex with the uh, alkyl ligands. Okay, right. So, Metal carbon bond cleavage leads to the uh, stable products like uh, water and uh, organic uh, compounds. Okay, right. So, if we consider a uh, transition metals, in transition metals, the stability order follows this. That means the 3D uh, transition metal complex are less stable than 4D and 4D are less stable than when we compare with 5D transition metal complexes. Okay, right. And uh, in a given series of transition metal complex the stability order of first uh, that means the left left side of the five uh, transition metal series are more stable when we compare with the first uh, five transition metal series okay so that is applicable for uh, the uh, three periodic uh, rows of a transition metal complexes that means the last five of the uh, uh, transition metal complexes are more stable when we compare with the first to five transition metal complexes. Okay, so remember this point. By this point, we can do, you know, we can solve many uh, problems or uh, problems on stability of uh, transition metal complexes. Okay, I next. So another important uh, term to consider in stability of uh, transition metal complexes is uh, if the transition metal has high coordination number in its complex is more stable when we compare with the low coordination number transition metal complexes. Okay, just for, uh, for that example, so if we consider octahedral complexes are more stable than tetrahedral complexes. Okay, so like that and we have some exceptions and we can discuss later, right? Okay, and next one is 18 valency electronic uh, uh, electron count. So this is another important uh, way by which uh, we can determine the stability of given transition metal complexes. Okay. Now, so we are discussing 18 electron valency rule or 18 electron uh, rule. So, in this 18 electron rule, what we need to do? We need to count so number of valence uh, transition element electrons. That means we need to count valence.